Hi guys, this is JP from FSI Panel. On that video, I will show you how to import training scenario found in the forum directly into FSI Panel and fly with the accurate weather. So let's start by closing the simulator. The simulator should be closed when you do that. So I will close MSFS and I will show you the procedure. All right, first thing you need to do is head up to the FSI Panel forum and in the section of your simulator for now we are flying msfs 2020 you will find a training scenario sub forum and now you will select the aircraft you fly at the time i'm doing this video there is only the pmdg 737 but i will add the other one uh, very soon so you click on pmdg 737 for example and you find your scenarios this one is the first one that you will find in the forum is a flight from San Juan to San Martin. It's around 40 minutes. So when you click on it, then you get a quick summary. It's a short 40 minute trip from uh, San Juan to San Martin with some hydraulic malfunctions. Then you have your different uh, series of 737. Today we will fly on the 700, so dash 700. So if you click on lesson plan, you will get a detailed lesson plan about the training scenario. What is important here is always to look at where you need to position your aircraft. So to start that scenario, you will need to be at Tango, Juliet, Sierra, Juliet. Select runway 08 in FSI panel, it's not, if not done already. And the gate will be Delta 4. So you will start on the gate Delta 4, and then you get all information that you may need for your training including some QRH and at the end of that you have your actual ATC flight plan. So this is very handy just keep it uh, ready to open we will need it in a couple of minutes. So what you want to download is the training scenario this is a zip file and when you open that zip file you will find inside the lesson plan again this is for your own record if you want to keep the scenario on your hard disk then you have a readme first this is exactly the procedure i'm showing you right now so if you follow that video you probably don't need to read this readme first you will know how to import a training scenario in fsi panel finally you get the training scenario itself which is a .fsc file and that can be imported in fsi panel so i will uh, now unzip those three files in a temporary folder and we will start FSI panel. Remember, MSFS should not be running. So let's go ahead and uh, un unzip that file and start FSI panel. Okay, here we are in FSI panel. No selected airport and as well no detected aircraft as MSFS is not running. This is exactly what we want. So now what I will do is take my... Uh, folders where I unzipped the scenario file and what I need to do is drag and drop that FSC file in FSI panel. So take that file and drop it on the main window of FSI panel. When you do that you will get the following message. Do you want to add the scenario to your database? Yes. And preset copied and scenario added to your database. FSI panel will now close. Right. Done. Now we are ready to fly our training scenario. So if we look in the lesson plan, we see that we need to position the aircraft at Tango, Juliet, Sierra, Juliet, and at the gate Delta 4. So we will also need to select the correct weather. So let me start MSFS and I will show you exactly what we need to do. All right, here we are in MSFS. So we'll select world map. I have my PMDG 737-700 and for the departure, as per the training scenario, we go to Luis Munoz Marine International in San Juan and we are going to select the gate Delta 4 as per our training scenario. I would like to fly that sorry, during the day and one thing you need to do, you go to your weather condition here. And now, under preset, you will find FSI panel preset. So if we go down, you can see here, FSI, Tango, Juliet, Sierra, Juliet, Scenario. Select that weather. Now that we have everything done, we can click Fly Now, and I see you in the cockpit in a couple of seconds. 
All right, here we are. I click ready to fly and we are in our cockpit. It's a rainy day for that training scenario. And what you need to make sure is that you are electrically powered. So right now I'm on the GPU. So that's good. If you don't have any electrical power, just make sure you are either on the APU or on the GPU. And now we can start our training scenario. So I will start FSI panel and we start the scenario. All right, so now FSI panel is ready. And as you can see, we have now the airport detected and the 737 has been detected. And now the only thing we need to do is go to training scenario. And there we can see that our hydraulic training, the last one just imported is showing there. So if I click on it, I have again the uh, possibility to look at the instruction notes if required or to click start training. So I will click start training. And remember that from the time you click start training, you should not interfere with the cockpit until you get the first ATC instruction by FSI panel. So let's do that. Click start training and let's see what happened in our cockpit. So we get the message preparing now your cockpit. So now we will see flight plan. Everything will be set for us. The aircraft weight and fuel will be as well corrected. And during that time, please do not touch anything. It will take another 15 seconds, most probably, and then we'll be ready to start our training scenario. So here you will see FSI panel doing now the uh, weight, changing the fuel as per the training scenario. And finally, you get the first ATC instructions clear for pushback facing west, taxi holding point 08 via Sierra. With your weather information, you can acknowledge it. And from there, you are ready to start your training scenario. So as you can see, everything has been set for us. We are on uh, ready to start. We have the flight plan. Everything is in there with the correct QNH, correct uh, modes. So you can just do the before start, start your pushback and fly your training scenario. So this is the new procedures or to import a training scenario in FSI panel. The scenario will be found in uh, the forum so please subscribe to the forum if you haven't done so yet and as well i will show you now that if you don't like the scenario you can either keep it uh, on your database or you can delete uh, that scenario that will as well delete the weather file on your msfs directories all right so if you want to delete your training scenario just go again to the training scenario you find your hydraulic training scenario click on it Make sure that's the one that is correctly selected. Hit the delete key. And when you hit the delete key, you will get the message. Do you want to delete scenario 38? Yes. And as well, then everything will be deleted, as you can see. And as your training file and your weather file have been deleted. All right. I hope you liked that video. And if you have any comments or questions, please drop a line below in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon and stay safe. Bye-bye.